<laughs> Here with Kevin Crawley, the Hamilton Nationals, and uh, Kevin, you guys kept battling back, battling back, got it even uh, eight to eight, but just couldn't uh, seem to get that last goal or two against uh, a tough Boston team tonight. Must have been uh, kind of a frustrating game for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we had our, all the opportunities in the low to score on their goalie, and we just didn't get it done. And that starts from the first quarter on. Uh, you know, if we scored on a quarter of those opportunities we had, the game would have been a different story. Now you did a little camp uh, before the game there with the uh, Hamilton Bengals. How nice you got to work with those uh, youngsters before uh, came out to watch you guys play. Yeah, it's great to see the support from the community. Um, those guys, you know, there was a lot of potential actually out there actually. And uh, it's funny, our American guys were commenting on how good the Canadian box skills were, their stick skills. Um, so that was cool to hear kind of from an American perspective. And it was cool, you know, just to say hi to the kids. And they hung out for the, after the game, signed some autographs. So it's important for us. How, uh, how nice of a tribute was that to uh, Chris Sanderson before the game? Uh, I mean, uh, it, you know, it breaks my heart, the whole story about Chris. Uh, I got to know him in the 2010 World Games and became pretty close with him. Um, he actually gave me the nickname Big Cat, too. And, uh, you know, I feel so bad for the family. My thoughts and prayers are with them. And, uh, you know, I, I, some sticks out. The stuff I take from Chris is going to stick out in my mind and make me a better lacrosse player in the future and a better person in general. So I appreciate him for that. Your weekend coming up, Friday and Saturday, both against Ohio. Is that pretty much come down to make or break time now for uh, the Nationals? Yeah, definitely. It's do or die for us now. And, you know, we saw glimpses of what our team can be out there tonight. And I think if we take that into uh, Ohio and play a full 60 minutes, it's going to be a different game.